Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 20th of May and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with BSS Jeff Ayers and Isham Ensembles. Maybe on try a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video. For the next four weeks, gets us uh, into the beginning of June, actually, and uh, I'll get on that for you in a moment. We will also have a look at 12Z as I'm recording this video uh, very late. We're going to be able to show you uh, quite a bit of 12Z, so uh, that will be at the end of the bid. Uh, hang around and stick around for that. Uh, right, so uh, just say the first a bit of SS our 6 m UK weather forecast. No weekend forecast or uh, EC 42 day this week. I think we'll get the EC 42 day. 42 day up back for UK and Ireland uh, next week. I want to say hello to Alex. I don't know whether Alex will be tuning in to this video, but hello to you. Um, though uh, today I have my first customer down at Watford Gap Services who recognised me from Gal's Weather Beast, which was uh, very, very nice. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance really to, to talk to you, did I, Alex? Because it was very, very busy today, as it would be on a uh, Saturday in a, in a service area on the M1. So uh, I didn't really get a chance to chat, but Alex likes to watch the videos, uh, particularly in terms of the Glastonbury updates. And uh, Alex was asking when Glastonbury updates start. It'd be about a month. So if anybody's uh, interested in the Glastonbury updates, got about another month to go and uh, then we will begin the countdown to the 2025 Glastonbury Festival but hello to Alex lovely to see you earlier on and thank you for making yourself known to me um I told you know the people I was working with and they they you know thought it was very sweet and very nice uh so uh that that was fun thank you so much for brightening up my day today Alex and like if anybody else wants to drop by um and uh, say hello make yourself known to me it's for what for that sir services on the M1. I'm on the north side at the moment. So, uh, as I say, if anybody wants to drop in at some point, make yourself known to me. I might not have time to, you know, have a chat, but I can say hello to you uh, anyway. It just depends how busy it is. Uh, right, OK. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, rambled, rambled on long enough. Let's crack on with the video. I'm going to start off with the uh, latest window map from EarthNoSchool.net showing high pressure is dominating the weather and in the essentially but low pressure down towards Biscay and is starting to move towards us. Central England temperature is currently sitting at 11.2. That's uh, bang on me, 61 to 90.90 average for this point in May. That's provisional all to yesterday to uh, the 9th. So I think I'm going to start lifting up from this point onwards. Although warm days, cold nights, or chilly nights, I wouldn't necessarily think that's going to lift up dramatically so, but I think it will gradually start uh, ticking up. Meets with GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. So Nottingham today, the red line is the 30-year upper air temperature as your Nottingham. We're above average at the moment, going to stay that way for the next uh, 10 days or so. Now, as you go into the last week of May, we're going to find the upper air temperature beginning to uh, return back closer uh, to average. So, a bit of a cool down maybe into the last week of month. That's a very long way off. It's very extended range and therefore is unreliable. For the next week to 10 days, uh, we're looking above average. Precipitation-wise, we've got a dry weather to come over the next uh, week, 10 days or so, possibly more unsettled, bigger precipitation spikes again into the last week of the month. So you would look at that and think there's going to be change into the last week of the month, something cooler and uh, a lot more unsettled. But of course, that's a very long way out. It's over 10 days away. Therefore, it's very unreliable time frame type uh, stuff. Temperature anomaly, so it's five days, taking us up to the 15th of May, are uh, coming out uh, warmer than average there. And if you look at six to ten day temperature, on, uh, temperature anomaly, that is also above average. Ten to 14 day is also coming out above average. And precipitation anomalies for the next seven days look drier than normal. So warmer, drier is uh, the way forward, really, for the foreseeable future. OK, let's start going through chart data. So we're going to start off with the midnight and 6 z runs. I said at the end of the video, we'll be able to, say, we'll be able to show you most of the 12Z uh, as we're recording this uh, very late today. Been doing the 9 to 5 today. 9 to 5. 
<laughs> uh, right, you're going to start off with a bit of a dotty partnership. You're going to start off with the UK Met Euro Big Light Run. Uh, high pressure to the north, low pressure south, winds coming in from an easterly direction. High pressure strengthening through west of Europe during over the second half of next week. Mostly dry and warm at 1,030 millibars with that area of high pressure into next weekend. Icon again shows that high pressure strengthening uh, through the western portion of Europe through the second half of next week. Mainly dry, anticyclonic, high and dry at 1,030 millibars there. We go through to next weekend, no change, mostly dry, fine, possibly a bit cooler. Winds coming in from slightly more of a northeasterly direction. Oh, uh, perhaps a bit of a drop in temperature. But overall, the high pressure maintained. The dry weather goes on. And then we've got the KMA looking like that. Oh, much of a much. This high pressure dominating and in the ascendancy all the way up to day 10. Bit of change after day 10. Something more unsettled. Cooler, wetter, windier coming in from off the Atlantic. Not sure about that. Very long way out. GFS uh, midnight run. Again, uh, sort of much of a much. I was going to say round, round it all off. But a bit early for that. Um, GFS midnight run. Again, that high pressure dominating throughout next week. We're high and dry again next week after maybe a showery start on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, up to day 10, plenty of high pressure reaching in from the Atlantic into the west of Europe. Gradually the high pressure begins to weaken as we go out uh, beyond that into the last week of the month. Lower pressure begins to head in from off the Atlantic. Just begins to turn a little bit more showery. And slightly more unsettled with the high pressure slipping to the south and the low pressure to the west of Scotland. The moment we get GFS 6 there, again, that high pressure dominates through the west and the north of Europe. It brings a lot of dry weather with it throughout next week and into next weekend. Could be a bit chilly, maybe in the south of the east next weekend. Winds coming in coming in from more of a northeast direction. But basically, there's no change here with high pressure still dominating up to day 10. Beyond it, we start to ease some lower pressure in from off the Atlantic. It begins to turn a very, at the very least more showering, if not more unsettled. We end up with below pressure Slipping to the south, high pressure into the north. Winds are coming in from an east or south east direction. So a bit more unsettled in the south. Uh, mostly dry in the north and looking quite warm. If you're enjoying that, Matt gets 26th of May, by the way. So that's my next bank holiday, isn't it? Bank holiday, mon uh, bank holiday Monday updates. Therefore, we'll have to start again <laughs> um, next week. Isn't it strange how we get all these bank holidays together with Easter and the two in May? And then we have that long run to August. And after August, there's nothing until Christmas. I always find that very strange. Why don't they spread them out a little bit more? I don't know. Anyway, I'm off on a tangent. So sorry, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Get them to subscribe too. We only got about 25 subscribers now. Can you believe it? Get ourselves to 19.7k, so it could get us a sum. That'd be absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, GM. Again, with the uh, low pressure slipping away. To the south on Tuesday as high pressure uh, uh, moves south as well. So we go over to Wednesday, high pressure dominating over, potentially mostly dry and warm. And then into the second half of next week, it was mainly dry and warm then. Uh, into uh, next weekend, again, a lot of dry, warm weather. A little bit more in the east, north east. You could bring some cloud and showers into that east and south east and corner. And then start generating this funny little low over the low countries, which will probably bring quite a lot of heavy rain into the south of the south east. But I'm not sure about that. To be honest, uh, that looks a little bit of an outlier synoptically uh, developing that low. I mean, it might happen, but I'll be dubious about it. Basically, the gems are anticyclonic. Uh, each gem looking like this. So, once more, low pressure moving away to the south as high pressure pushes down uh, from the north. So, next week, uh, particularly the middle of the second half next week, looking mostly dry, fine, and warm. Those fine, dry, and warm conditions are then maintained into next weekend as well. That gets us to day 10, which is the 20th of May. Again, mostly dry, fine, and warm weather. 
into, into the very extended range, starts to turn cooler and a little bit more showery then as uh, we move into the uh, weekend of the 24, well, bank holiday weekend, 24 to 26th of May. That's as far as we get to, gets us to the 25th of May, looking cool and showery just in time for the bank holiday weekend. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? This is my precipitation forecast based on the East Gem, uh, run from Tometeo.com. Uh, we've got some heavy showers and thunderstorms in the south and southwest over the uh, next day or two. Some big showers and thunderstorms getting going uh, potentially um, as we go through into Monday for more western and southern areas. And then things start to uh, dry out as we go into the middle and the second half of next week. Mostly dry to day 10. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 20th of May, 24 members of the ECM ensembles with a nice ridge through the West of Europe and out into the Atlantic. Mostly dry and warm. 21, again with high pressure, bringing a lot of dry, fine weather. Uh, 6, a minority, turning it unsettled. Oh, uh, it looks as though the uh, very strong uh, majority option is towards high pressure at day 10. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It'll get to the 25th of May. 30 members of the ECM ensembles with lower pressure to the north, northeast. Looking a little bit showery and rather cool then. A 21 with high pressure through the north uh, Atlantic into Europe, mostly dry with that uh therefore so the majority option is the cooler more shower showery showery one in line with the uh ESM operational of course there is a significant minority option to still keep a high pressure vest going with a high pressure vest last for the uh bank holiday weekend let me know what you think in the comments everyone Right, CFS B2, these are 500 millibar height to dominance, breaking down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 10th through to the 16th of May. Next week is dominated by high pressure. We're high and dry, mostly fine and warm in the week ahead. Week 2 is the 17th to the 23rd of May. Uh, high pressure again in control, mostly dry and warm. Week 3 will be the 24th. To the 30th of May, high pressure again over and to the east, country, mostly dry and warm. And then finally, perhaps a bit of a change in week four to 31st of May to the 6th of June, high pressure goes northwards, possibly some sort of a trough through here. That might bring something a little bit more uh, showering and cooler in with it for the beginning of June. But it's four weeks away, so I won't worry about it. Now, the last thing we're going to look at as we're so late. With, with the video, so sorry everyone uh, for that is the 12 Z. So we show you most of the 12 Z except for the KMA and the ECM. We can't show you those two, but we can show you everything else. So let's have a UK Met 12 Z is looking again high pressure building uh, across the country through uh, the middle and second half of next week, mostly dry and warm up to next weekend. Icon once again has that high pressure dominating the weather. Three of the middle of the second half of next week, mostly dry and warm then. And that gets us to next weekend. Again, mostly dry and warm with that. The GFS 12Z uh, looks like this. Mostly dry and uh, warm then into the second, uh, into next weekend. So, uh, like uh, the 17th, 18th of May. Again, we're anti-cyclonic, mostly dry and warm uh signs just beyond day 10 but we start turning cooler and more unsettled just in time uh, for the bank holiday weekend a little bit showery and cooler there as we go through into the bank holiday weekend again that's a long way out and finally the last one we can show you is the gem and uh, that one uh is uh, anti-cyclonic for much of next week dry fine and warm high pressure holding sway um and even as we go up towards day 10 again high pressure ridging through the atlantic into the north and west europe bit of pressure being put on the high by this low here to the south of greenland oh uh below there is uh heading uh, in that direction putting the high pressure uh, under pressure. It's possible if we go on another day or two uh, that we'd see the high pressure collapsing and we'd turn unsettled. But up to day 10, most of the models again today are keeping it fine, dry and warm. So uh, any changes still a long way into the future, 
even if they do eventually uh, verify. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this sound, all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gareth Weathers and get them to subscribe too. And thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. About 25 subscribers gets us to 19.7k. Uh, could get us, uh, that'd be absolutely awesome. Right, tomorrow, we don't, we don't have 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, but next summer update is uh, coming up. Um, uh, tomorrow as well. So I'll get a bit of tea after uh, I get this video uploaded. Then I've got the summer forecast, well, summer update to work on. Uh, and then after that, we are going to have a 10 to 14 day video. No live stream tomorrow. I'm working uh, second job tomorrow. So again, no study live stream uh, this week. Uh, next live will actually be on Wednesday. So uh, more about that in a day or two's time. For this video, that's all for now. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening. Thanks for watching and bye for now.